Robert Galerowitz, Healthy Kidney Inc. Uh, question we got was, how fast does chronic kidney disease progress? Okay, and I'm gonna answer this question for uh, people and cats and dogs, pets that we work with here at Healthy Kidney Inc. So it's not a clear cut answer. All right, because there are so many factors involved with kidney health, and especially with chronic kidney disease, you can progress very slowly, maybe you don't progress at all, maybe you progress very quickly. And when it comes to these variety of factors, it all depends on how aggressive your nephrologist is with your care. Okay? Are they testing everything that should be? Are they addressing everything that they should be? How, um, how much are you taking care of your health? Okay, are you following a renal diet or are you not following a renal diet? Okay, are you taking care of your health through lifestyle? eating good, drinking water, avoiding salts, um, watching high phosphorus foods, bad foods for you, or you know, are you not? Okay, because you know, I can tell you the people who take care of themselves, they can drastically slow down, stop, and with the right things can even improve their kidney function. Now I worked with a nephrologist for about eight years, shared an office together. Um, I've been in this field now for about 15, 16, uh, a little bit after I got my kidney transplant. And so I had the pleasure of working with a lot of different people, seeing a lot of different situations. I've seen people who were supposed to be on dialysis in a year, and here they are five, six, seven years later, still doing fine. Uh, people that were supposed to progress at faster rates. And all this came down to was how much were they taking care of their health and how aggressive were their doctors? Did they have kind of doctors who lackadaisical, you know, they're in and out 15 minutes, done, can't possibly address everything, or did you have someone who spent a little time with you, looked at all the different tests out there, tried to do what they could, or did they have an attitude of, well, nothing you can do, so just kind of hang out and wait till your kidney fails, okay? So that's what it all comes down to, is how much you take care of yourself, how good is your medical team, all the doctors that you have. Uh, I always recommend getting second opinions. And especially when you do a lot of the uh, renal diet stuff, kidney diets, you take supplements, you control your blood pressure, uh, you can have drastic improvements and you don't have to follow that, that typical course that a lot of people think that there's nothing you can do, just kind of wait for your kidneys to fail because uh, you don't want to do that. It's not the life you prefer to live. I've been there, okay, you know, still got my fistula, I have my transplant now, going on 16 years or so. Um, it's just not something that you know you want to willingly go towards. If you can do what you can to avoid or slow it down, you're you're going to be better off. It doesn't mean you can't have a good quality of life. Uh, having kidney disease, dialysis, or a transplant, you can. You have an amazing quality of life if you know what to do. But it's not you know it's uh, there's not a clear cut answer to that question. How fast does chronic kidney disease progress? All depends. Okay, it all depends on your individual situation, where you're at, what you're doing, what you're willing to do, and uh, what your doctors are doing. Okay. Um, so remember, take care of yourself, take care of others, take care of your pets and their kidney health. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.